Hi, and welcome to our show. Today I'd like to talk to you about Newton's first law and how it affects you. One of the cool things about riding a bike is that you can build up speed and then rest while you coast. This is called inertia. A moving object will stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force, such as a headwind, gravity, or even the friction in the moving parts of the bike itself. But what happens if this force is applied by an immobile object? The leading edge of your body comes to a stop. Your center of mass continues to move forward. The net effect is that your body acts like a hammer, while your head acts like a very dull nail. Let's see this in action. Let's use a watermelon, which represents a watermelon. It also happens to weigh about the same as your head. And as a bonus, it's also filled with red mushy stuff. What happens when this watermelon gets dropped from the second floor window? Let's find out. Okay, begin the experiment. Not realistic, you say? Well, it turns out that a watermelon falling from four meters falls for 0.9 seconds and will hit the ground at 19.8 miles per hour, which happens to be a brisk biking speed. So what can you do to protect your melon? Luckily, there's an easy solution. <laughs> By wearing a helmet, you add a layer of styrofoam, which compresses slightly so you decelerate over a small distance instead of instantly. The next time you go for a bike ride, consider Isaac Newton's first law and consider wearing a helmet to protect your most valuable possession, your melon. 